right, what's up everyone? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. My opponent this time is Hydreigon, and this is the first battle in my second series. So you're going to get a sneak peek at my team here. It's not in its final stage. I was still playing around with a few things at this point, but it'll give you a good idea of what's to come for this next series. Anyhow, uh, my opponent leads with Rotom. I lead with Crack is Whack, my Whimsicott. And I'm going to paralyze it right off the bat. He shows me that he has hidden power, which means this is probably some sort of choice Rotom. Probably only choice Scarfed, judging by that damage. So I'm going to U-turn out and go into my special wall, Nike, the Gastrodon. And you'll see Nike is a great special sponge in black and white, especially with his new ability. So he tanks that hit easily. And now I'm going to go for Scald, just hoping to get a burn. I know that Scald says it only has a 30% chance of burn, but don't believe it. Scald always burns. Just count on getting burned if, if you're using Scald. Anyhow, Ferrothorn comes in. He does get burned. Obviously, I can't stay in, but I have a great switch in here. I go out to my uh, Skarmory Crow, and Crow takes a whopping... 9 damage from that Power Whip, so it does nothing. And I'm going to be free to set up my entry hazards here. I'm going to set up Stealth Rock, knowing that the worst thing he can do is Leech Seed me. Uh, instead, he goes for Thunder Wave, which kind of caught me off guard. I know that Ferrothorn can learn it, but it's not real common. Anyhow, it's not a big deal because Crow doesn't mind being paralyzed. It's definitely better than being burned. And now that I have my hazards up, I'm going to switch out to Lenin, my Conkledur, and begin setting up. So uh, Hydreigon stays in. He gets up a layer of spikes here. I'm going to go for bulk up. I'm figuring he'll probably leech seed me or just continue to set up spikes, but either are fine. Uh, he chooses to go for leech seed, which is going to make these after turn effects take forever since now we have leech seed, burn, and two sets of leftovers. But on this next turn, I'm going to bulk up again. So I'm at plus two, plus two. Uh, and he, I believe, yeah, sets up more spikes. So he's got two layers, of, two layers of spikes down now, which is going to be a little bit annoying later. But I figured it was a good trade-off to get Lenin set up. It, it actually wasn't in retrospect, but, you know, whatever, it happened. So now I know a plus two Drain Punch is easily going to be enough to KO Ferrothorn. So I don't want to waste my time setting up anymore and letting him get his final layer of spikes up. Instead, I just Drain Punch it, take out Ferrothorn, and then after I get my lefties here, I'm going to be at almost full health. And now you'll see why it was stupid to set up. He brings in his Latios, which can easily kill me. Unfortunately for Hydreigon, he chose Psycho Shock over Psychic. And because I got those boosted defenses and Psycho Shock hits on the defensive side, I'm able to live pretty comfortably and then just wreck Latios with a payback. Uh, so that was an easy Oko. And now Hydreigon's in pretty big trouble because nothing else on his team is going to want to take a Drain Punch. He goes to Skarmory um, knowing that it'll be able to survive one. And I still do over half. But he makes a good play here, and War wins me out, canceling out my bonuses. And Crack as Whack gets dragged back in. So here, I don't want him to have a chance to roost and heal. So I'm going to Encore it right away and just force it to keep using Whirlwind so that he can't heal. I know that I'm going to be taking spike damage as I switch in and out, but being able to wear down this Skarmory is a, a really good option to have, and I want to be able to do that. So my own Skarmory gets brought in. I know that there's no point trying to set anything up since I'm just going to get blown out the next turn, and I just go for Brave Bird, which doesn't do anything, but, you know, it's a little damage. I get blown out again. Lennon comes back. Uh, a neutral Drain Punch. Probably won't kill, but it'll definitely put him in the red and give me a little bit of health back to help me uh, recover off that spikes damage. So I almost kill, not quite, but um, any kind of attack now will easily take out that Skarmory. And with his final Whirlwind, he blows in my own Latios hate. Now at this point, I was running a Life Orb Latios because I wanted the 31 speed IVs so that I could outspeed opposing Latios and also a speed tie with uh, Gengar. Um, but I go for Psychic, just knowing I'll hit anything on his team pretty hard. He decides to sack his Rotom and gets a free switch into his Gyarados. Uh, probably trying to bluff the Ice Fang here. 
but I know I'm faster. So I stay in for one Psychic. It doesn't quite kill. If I had been Spexed, I would have. But it allows Gyarados to get a Dragon Dance up. And now I'm expecting Ice Fang, but it turns out he doesn't have it because he goes for Waterfall, which since I resist it, I'm able to survive. I get flinched, but Life Orb kills him anyhow. So that was a, a very opportune time to get flinched. Hydreigon finally brings in his weather. He had Politoed the whole match and he never set up his rain, which sucked for him, but was fine for me. Anyhow, I'm going to predict a water attack here. I switch into Nike, who's... Ability Storm Drain activates. That gives me a free special attack boost anytime someone uses a water move. And as he switches out, that tells me that uh, Politoed is also choiced, which is great because now that Skarmory goes down, Politoed is, I believe, the only Pokemon he has left. So he's going to have to choose one attack and stick to it. And I have enough guys left that no matter what he chooses, I have someone who's going to be able to take it. He ends up going for Hidden Power Grass, and Nike tanks that hit like a beast. Four times special, uh, four times super effective, and he barely takes half damage. So that was awesome. I switch him out here since I know that Politoed can't change its move. I go into Crow, who has the four times resistance to Grass, and that again does nothing. Um, so now, unfortunately, at this point, Hydreigon decides that he doesn't want to see the match through. He just concedes, but uh, it proves a successful test for my initial team. I'm going to be changing it around slightly in the videos to follow, and I'll have another one coming your way shortly, guys. Thanks.